This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the gun lock that is distributed with many of the Sig Sauer firearms sold in the United States. This is a relatively common gun lock design, and it's essentially a 30 millimeter flexible shackle padlock. This particular one is made in China and has a laminated steel construction. If we look at the bottom, we can see that there is an anti-drill plate in front of that core. And that really struck me as odd, because as I look at this lock and think of all the different ways to destructively defeat this, drilling out that core is really, really low down on the list. So it strikes me as quite out of place on, a, on an inexpensive lock like this, but I guess it's nice to see them making some effort. Now, of course, Sig Sauer is not the actual company that makes this. They only distribute it with their guns. The company that is listed on the paperwork that comes with this lock is DAC Technologies out of Little Rock, Arkansas, and it is their model CL551. I was able to find this model on their website, and when sold in bulk, I believe they sell it for about $6 a piece. $7 if you buy it singly. I suspect Sig Sauer is getting a much better deal than that. Now, I was not able to find the CL551S. However, I suspect that S just designates the particular lock that's distributed with Sig Sauer firearms. Again, that's just a guess, but probably seems about right. So let me show you how we use this gun lock. What we do is insert the key, and once we turn it, we can remove one end of that flexible shackle. Then we lock the action of the handgun open and insert one end of that long flexible shackle through the magazine well, out the top of the action, and then re-lock that flexible shackle into the lock body. Okay, so what does putting this flexible shackle padlock through the gun do? It does a couple of things. First, once it's in there, you cannot fully close the action. If the action can't be closed, this gun will not fire. It also takes up some space in the magazine well, and that of course prevents you from inserting a magazine in the gun. So, this firearm is truly disabled right now, it can't be fired. So the question then becomes, what does it take to pick this guy open? So let's give that a try right now. We can see that's a really, really tiny keyway that might give us some trouble fitting both a tension wrench and a pick in there. However, that anti-drill plate is actually attached to the core. So I can put my tension right on that anti-drill plate. Oh, doesn't look like I locked it up all the way. Okay, I can put my tension right on that anti-drill plate, and that saves us a lot of space in the keyway. Now let's use our standard hook in 18 thousandths and get to picking. One is loose, two is binding. And just after picking number two, this lock opened up. Let's try that one more time. As you saw, that lock wasn't totally closed the first time we tried putting tension in. Let's insert that key, remove it. Okay, hopefully it'll give us a little bit better performance this time. Okay, little click out of one. Number two is binding, lifting him up, feels pretty high. And this lock is open. Okay, let's look, a, look at, the, uh, at the key. Maybe that has to do with the bidding. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, those back two pins that we didn't touch at all are very, very low. I'm betting that they are at the shear line before we touch them at all. So we really only had to pick those first two pins. So even though this is a four pin lock, we only had to pick two. That's a little bit disappointing. I actually have one more of these locks right here, and, uh, and let's give this one a try, see if it's any better. Okay, putting tension in the exact same way, and using the same 18,000 standard hook. 
a one is loose, little click at a two, three is loose, four, nothing there. Back to one, one is loose, click at a two, click at a three, nothing on four, one is binding, got to click out of him, and that guy opened up. Okay, so this one gave us a little bit, a little bit better performance. Come on, open up. There we go. Okay, a little bit better of a performance. However, still a relatively easy to open four pin lock. Nothing that even a novice picker would have any trouble opening at all. So, from looking at the DAC website, we can see this is a relatively inexpensive lock and it certainly provides a level of security that's commensurate with that. Very, very low. Certainly not something that I would trust to protect my firearm from being discharged by an unauthorized person. I can think of a lot better options, probably the best of which is putting it in a quality gun safe. That's going to be the gold standard here. And this is probably near the bottom of the barrel when we talk about locks that we're going to be putting on our guns. Clearly, it's better than nothing, but not a whole lot more. So that's all I have for you today on this gun lock that is distributed with Sig Sauer Firearms. And that's the DAC Technologies model CL551. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.